The Marble Machine X, Massive Misfire or Monumental Masterpiece? Let's try to find out! <laughs> so in the last video of the Marble Machine X, it was playing some drums finally and I was using these funnels to catch the marbles. These funnels were temporary and today I'm going to show you the real funnels. Temporary funnels, real funnels. This is the first test piece and immediately I want to give a big shout out to the funnel team. Echo, Jacob and Tim has been my teammates in both designing and machining and assembling this first test piece. And the idea behind this funnel is that it will act like a meat eating flower. So when a marble hits the back here, it will give a little opening like this. And the first thing I have to do to test this, I've never tested it yet, is to make a little spring steel piece here. It was a genius design addition from the funnel team that instead of a hinge plus some kind of spring, we can use the spring as hinge. I love how this looks and it's going to be so fun to see the marbles falling into this and getting eaten up by this beautiful Art Deco meat eating flower. So I'm going to go through this extremely slowly. Keeping it very wet. I only have one of these test piece here, so if I have a broken tap inside them, it would be kind of annoying. Not pushing it harder than necessary. So I just need to take some measurements of the spring steel. Let's isolate that. 20, 48, 4. Look at that! So this is the thinnest spring steel I have, which means the lightest to move. And this is promising. I think even this is too light. Marble. <laughs> the first marble of autumn 2019 season have hit the floor. We're in for a good ride. Second marble. So the PMA pipe goes in here. And as always, I Okay, a little bit too little tolerance, it's a little bit tight. I actually don't like this shaking afterwards. I want like, I want that. Oh yes, look at that. That's perfect. So when you have 11 of these and the vibraphone is playing, you will see the melody echoing in the movement of the capturing funnels. Miss. Only like this, it's too flimsy. If I push a little bit with my finger there, shut it like that, it's exactly what I want. So the way I can control this is to add more layers of spring steel here. I think I'm gonna try to add another one. Like 35 millimeters. It's kind of sweet the spring mechanism also because it's not only the light first spring steel that is doing this movement, this one is also moving. They help each other. Test number two, more rigid spring steel. Two at the same time. Two. Kind of good. I love it. So at the top end, the PMMA pipe goes into this part. At the lower end, it goes into this part. 
So these parts are super beautifully machined by Tim Keller. So the funnel will be somewhere here. That looks correct. And then the dock will be here. But since the funnel is so close, I'm going to take this extra part away from here. Which means that Tim Keller will now join the club of extremely skilled machinists who have sent me a perfect part only to having to sit at home and watch me taking an angle grinder to it. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, I can give you the number to Alex and you can talk about it. <laughs> I decided to go light on you, Tim, since it's your first time. <laughs> go with a hacksaw instead. So the last alteration I need to do is that yet again, I missed on the tolerances. I think I said 20.2 in diameter to Tim, and that's just a little bit too tight. You can see the PMA pipe actually going in there, but quite soon it gets kind of stuck. So I'm gonna open the inner diameter up a little bit in this piece. Yeah, better immediately. That went fast actually. So since the part gets kind of warm from the grinding, I have to actually cool the part down before I can make sure that the inner diameter is correct and it's the perfect snug fit. So this is the 18 millimeter medical silicone rod that I'm using to maintain the inner diameter when bending these PMMA pipes. So now I should be able to test release marbles and just bend this with a heat gun until I have the funnel in the correct position. Okay, there. There we go. Marble Machine X is modular and this is the instrument module that we're supposed to be able to take straight off for transportation, which means now when these pipes connect, we have to make a cut here. So now when I put this one back, it sticks in as long as it should. So I have an M5 set screw, clamp the PMA pipe a little bit lightly. And then on this part from Tim, there's two M3 threads that will receive two M3 set screws, super short ones, and they will also clamp down on the PMA pipe. Funnel test results. The movement is spot on, the size is spot on. Overall, I'm absolutely 100% pleased with the way this is going. The look is great, but we're gonna adjust the front half top line according to this picture. So the two halves top lines here are tangential. That will look and function great. And also durability. One weld broke. This is two millimeter thick wire, which is really difficult to weld. And I tried to fix it and with my normal elegance, I just burnt straight through. I should have changed to a smaller tungsten and a pulse setting on the lowest amperage to see if I could do this. So huge shout out to Echo who actually managed to weld this two millimeter wire. Well done, it's really tricky. But I think we're going to move up to three millimeter wire also for durability, because if one weld goes, the funnel starts to leak marbles and we don't want that during the world tour. So I'm gonna take this feedback back to the funnel team 
And again, I want to give a shout out to Echo, Jacob and Tim. We're going to meet them all more in depth later and see their side of this process closer up. So for now, check out their links in the description. Really guys, thank you for helping me crossing this elusive finishing line. And thanks to you for watching. See you next time. In case I was wondering, the break, the vacation was wonderful. It was glorious. I took surf lesson. I'm scared of water. Shout out to my new friend Adrian who gave me courage among these monster waves we were riding. So I'm a surf dude now. Chillax level 10 from here on. <laughs> I always thought surfers are completely frantic about being relaxed.